Um, I met Kathy Beecher in Boston in 1988. She was running the first woman's shelter um, for homeless women and poor women, and um, she moved me out here. So uh, we worked together for 10 years almost, uh, running group homes for people with brain injuries, and one of the things we noticed right away was when they graduated from the group home, they went into their own apartment and they failed. So I would say we had about a 98% failure rate of graduates and everybody wants to leave a group home. So we, uh, in 1999, decided that we would work in the community, we thought, with a few amount of people to help them succeed. We decided when we were gonna found our own company that we would take the beach and the wood and incorporated into our name here at Beechwood. The tree itself is a tree that is very well rooted and spreads with great leaves. And we thought that was a terrific symbol for how an organization should grow and diversify and be in the community. Kind of blend in, but outstanding by its characteristics. We have a very diverse um, ILS worker. So I think that's something that's very to our advantage because uh, we also work with a very diverse uh, population of uh, clients too. And I think with that diversity, we are able to reach out more. They come to my home and, and, um, and really help me with my goals. And as a matter of fact, she helped me move. Independent living skills, they work a lot on uh, developing skills. Uh, and it's goal-based, so the clients come up with uh, the areas that they want to improve or um, do, learn different skills, and that's what ILS does. ILS helps keep me focused, and when they're there, we're doing a job, and if I, oh, something shiny, you know, they bring me back in a kind way, and, um, you know, that's very helpful. We work with a lot of people who are kind of on the edge of being institutionalized. So we help them uh, be able to stay in their uh, housing outside of institutions. So we might do paperwork, we will run errands with them, we'll navigate systems, uh, including legal systems or uh, Hennepin County. I think we realize that we have all had periods of powerlessness in our life and how crucial it is to really work with people so that they can take their feeling of powerlessness and of it find power. They, they encourage this, this me. They, they build up my self-esteem. They don't say, okay, you know, you have a disability and this is all you, this is all you can do. It's, it's not like that, it's more like reach, you know. We treat our clients like we would like a family member to be treated. And the visit, I mean the weekly visit is really an important thing for a lot of our people. They're isolated, they're often uh, lonely, living on the outside, and just a weekly visit with someone they trust is really a big deal. When Kosheva came into my life, she was like the ray of sunshine. I, I can be feeling bad the whole week, but on Wednesdays, I know I got to perk up because she's coming. I've always been brought up to really care for the elders, and I do the same with my family, and I just feel like the adult population needs more people like us. Ageism is a thing. I have these people who I really care about, who I like to help, and then I know they really care about me too. It's a very loving company and a loving group of people who we take care of here. It's just a welcoming community. It's, that's what it feels like, a family more so than you just go to work, it's a business, it's very close-knit. We had two staff that um, had just graduated with their master's degrees and wanted to work in mental health. So they developed the ARMS program. I'm Scott. Uh, and I'm a mental health practitioner here, and I started the ARMS program with uh, another person. ARMS stands for Adult Rehabilitative Mental Health Services, and uh, they really focus on uh, working with clients that have mental health symptoms, uh, addressing those uh, 
um, barriers in trying to come up with goals and solutions for, the, for them for them to be able to function better. ARMS is more therapeutic. We do stuff together to help me deal with my um, mental illness. One of the things that we've been doing is we go out to eat, to, uh, out to eat, and then we talk about what's been going on with my stress level, and talk about what my week's been like, and talk about um, things that I need that that I might need help with. Learning coping skills for uh, anxiety, for depression, uh, to really know when uh, an episode might be coming on and what he can do to help. Uh, you know, dissolve that. I managed to pick out the program out of several programs that were offered to me, and that was how I got started. We go to their homes, you know, we'll do an initial diagnostic assessment, a functional assessment with each person, and find out what what their needs are, what they what's kind of stopping them. We assume that it's gonna be probably at least two years, and each year we do a new um, round of diagnostic assessment and functional assessment to track the progress since the beginning. And um, some of our folks need are gonna need support for, for many years, and some of our folks actually kind of get on their feet and they are ready to not have an arms practitioner anymore. Beachwood and Scott have helped me to put the person out there that I know I am, and to help build the person that I know I can be. So it, it's a very rewarding experience to be at the other end of that, because I think you come in touch with just watching a person grow to feel their, their own strength. And I think it's also important for self-esteem to say, hey, this is who I am. I go out, I don't stay in the apartment all the time. I don't want to be known as a person who's isolating himself. Like I say on Wednesdays, that's the day I gotta perk up. I look my best and she's always looking beautiful. So I gotta look beautiful too. 